Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, we can write this as 9 raised to the power x minus. Yeah, this follows what we have a raised to the power m minus n. That's a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. But this here we have 9 raised to the power x over 9 raised to the power 1, which is equal to 36 on this side. That is here, yeah, this becomes 9 raised to the power x minus 9 raised to the power x times 1 over 9 raised to the power 1, which is 9, then equals to 36 on this side. And from here, we have 9 raised to the power x common. When we factor it out, this becomes 9 raised to the power x into bracket. Here we have 1, then minus 1 over 9, left here, close bracket equals to 36 on this side then here we bring this together as one fraction this is one over one because this you have nine raised to power x into bracket x m here that's nine and one in nine 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 times one that's ten nine then minus nine nine that's one one times one that's one then equals to 36 here but this here we have nine raised to power x times then minus 1, that's 8, then over 9, which is equal to 36 on this side. Then here, yeah, we can remove this 8 over 9 and multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this, which is 9 over 8. Also, multiply this side by 9 over 8. But this here, this cancelled each other. And we have 9 raised to the power x equals to 36 times 9 over 8. The next step here, we can also rewrite this as 9 raised to the power x equals to 36 can be written as 4 times 9, then times 9, then divided by here, we have 4 times 2. And what we have here, 4 cancelled each other. That is, this becomes 9 raised to the power x equals to 9 times 9, then over 2 here. Then, we can express this as 9 raised to the power x equals to 9 times 9, we can write that as 9 squared over 2. And from here, we take the log on both sides. At this here we have log 9 raised to the power x equals to log 9 square over 2 here. Then we apply the power law of logarithm here. When we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. At this, what we have here becomes x log. 9 equals to log 9 square over 2 here. Okay, next step here, we divide both sides by log 9. That is, divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9, which implies here, log 9 cancel each other. We have x equals to log 9 square over 2, then divided by log 9. Then, from what we have here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a over b, this is the same thing as log a minus log b. That is, what we have becomes x equals to log. 9 square minus log 2 over log 9. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 9 square over log 9 minus log 2 over log 9. 
then from here we apply the power law of logarithm 2 comes a then what we have becomes x equals to 2 log 9 over log 9 minus log 2 over log 9 then from here we have log 9 cancelled each other two left here that is x equals to 2 minus log 2 over log 9 then next step here we can write 9 as 3 then 3 that's 3 square and what we have becomes x equals to 2 minus log 2 over log 3 squared then when we apply the power of logarithm here yeah, 2 comes a then we have x equals to 2 minus log 3 over 2 log 3 excuse me this is log 2 up here then over log 3 but this we can as well write this as x equals to 2 minus 1 over 2 times log 2 over log 3 then next step here we apply change of base when we have log a over log b is same thing as log a to base b but this is what we have becomes x equals to 2 minus 1 over 2 log 2 base 3. Then here we bring this together as one fraction. This is 2 over 1. As this we have x equals to the SCM here that's 2. And this here becomes 4 then minus log 2 base 3. That is the value of x here we have 4 minus log 2 base 3 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 4 minus log 2 base 3 all over 2. That is, what we have here becomes 9 raised to the power 4 minus log 2 base 3 all over 2 then minus also 9 raised to the power 4 minus log 2 base 3 all over 2 minus 1 here is it equals to 36 on this side at this here we can still write this as 9 raised to the power 4 minus log 2 base 3 all over 2 then minus 9 raised to the power here, yeah, we have 1 over 1. We bring this power together as 1. This SCM here has 2. At this here we have still 4 minus log 2 base 3, then minus 2 here. Is it equals to 36 on this side? At this, we have 9 raised to the power 4 minus log 2 base 3 over 2, then minus 4 minus 2 here. That's 2. We have 9 raised to the power 2 minus log 2 base 3 over 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? At this next step here, we can express 9 as 3 square, which is raised to the power 4 minus log 2 base 3 all over 2 here, minus also 3 square raised to the power. 2 minus log 2 base 3 over 2 is it equals to 36 on this side. Then this power multiplies 2 here comes to each other. We have 3 raised to the power 4 minus log 2 base 3, then minus also this comes to each other. We have 3 raised to the power 2 minus log 2 base 3. Is it equals to 36 on this side? Then here we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power n minus n, this same thing as a raised to the power n by a raised to the power n. That is, here we have 3 raised to the power 4 divided by 3 raised to the power log 2 
is 3 minus also 3 square divided by 3 raised to power log 2 is 3 is it equals to 36 on this side that is 3 raised to power 4 3 multiplied say 4 times that's 81 then over this for reason we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b that is here we have 2 then minus 3 square that's 9 then also over 2 is equals to 36 on this side then next step here we bring this together as one fraction SM here is 2 and we have 81 minus 9 equals 72 is equals to 36 on this side and of course 72 over 2 gives us 36 equals to 36 on this side that is left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 4 minus log 2 base 3 all over 2 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up put your comment see you next class and bye for now